All right. How's it going, everybody? Um, a little bit sooner than I expected. I had a little bit of free time, and I'm actually going to be doing another tutorial. This one's similar to a follow-up. Um, not quite, not quite the same thing, but regardless, this tutorial is going to be on integrating AdMob ads into your iOS app. First, you are going to need to register with AdMob to even get the SDK, which you definitely need. So, register. Um, once you're registered, you'll be able to go in and you're going to want to just create a new app. It doesn't really matter for your first app, but just create a new app. And so right here you see that I have Vector Decomposer. That's one of my free apps that I have ads set up to. And so you're going to configure the app, you know, go through it. It's pretty simple. And then from there, you're going to want to click the Get Code tab. And it's not a button here, but it's a button. And it's going to bring you to this page. And so it says it requires an SDK, well that's why you came here to get it, so you're going to download the SDK. And so this should be pretty quick, yeah. And I'm going to put mine on the desktop, but actually a better spot to keep it is with your wherever you keep your Xcode projects, because you're going to need to keep this around. It's a uh, semi-permanent, and so it's something you're going to need around all the time. So now that we've done that, you're going to want to just, I guess I will just go to a new new page. You're going to want to open Xcode. While well, Xcode's going, create new project. You've seen this plenty of times, I'm sure. Single view application, add test is what we'll name it. No storyboard, uh, automatic reference counting, yes. Unit tests, I don't know, you don't really need them. And You've probably, chances are you've probably already created your application. So, create, and here we are. So now, we have it nice and set up. The first thing you're going to want to do, and there's actually a, if I go here, so I'll link this in the description. Obviously, um, I just took me forever to find this for some reason, but basically, I will link this uh, little document in the description just explaining how to implement Google AdMob ads, but it's none, not too helpful and so that's why I'm helping you. So I'm going to refer to this, but basically I'm just going to scroll through here. So requirements, you know, iOS 2.x, blah, blah, blah. That's foolishness. No one even has that anymore. So what we're going to do now is we need to import the Google Ad SDK into our project. So I'm going to do new group, just name it AdMob, and then file, add files to add test, desktop, pick this, whole folder, make sure to click copy items into destinations group folder, click add. So that's going to add the whole Google SDK into your project, which you definitely need if you're going to be incorporating Google Ads. Now, from there, you need to add a couple of frameworks. So clicking the Add Test Target, Add Test Target again, you're going to want to go to Build Phases and Link Binary with Libraries. And it already has a couple, but you're going to want to add even more. You're going to need to do Audio Toolbox Framework. message UI dot framework hello system configuration dot framework core graphics so there you go those are the ones you need otherwise your project will not compile now that we are past that moving on we're going to actually get into the implementation of how to do this. So in your viewcontroller.h file, you're going to want to add a couple snippets of code. You're going to want to import gaddbannerview.h. Now you're going to make a new line of code that says at class and it's going to say gadd 
banner view gadd request. Now, in the interface section, you're going to say gadd banner view delegate brace gadd banner view star under bar banner view. Actually, star banner view under bar. Got that a little bit backwards. Now you're going to want to do an at property non atomic strong for gadd banner view. Hello? Oh no. Oh no. You got to be kidding me. Oh, what the f? <laughs> All right, now that I'm back, I'm actually going to save this because Xcode just crashed and <laughs> a little bit unhappy there. Um, All right, moving on. Now you're going to want to make an at property, non-atomic, strong, for g add banner view, banner view. And so, last but not least, gad request star spin. All right, create request. And so this might appear choppy, but it's because I'm editing it down to take up the least amount of time. And so that is the end. That is all you need in your viewcontroller.h file or whatever your header file is, just your main header file for your project. Before you do your .m, you're going to need to do one more thing. Now, in the .m file, I'm actually going to copy and paste some code from a previous ad test, and I will include that code as a link. But uh, it's just because it's a little bit fancier than just code that creates an ad, it actually slides up and it looks pretty nice. So I'm going to include that code so you can just download a text file with it in it and copy and paste it. And I'll tell you when I get there. But first you're going to want to do file, new file, dot h file. It's in um, iOS, C and C++. And you're going to name it, uh, we'll name it source, dot h. So now that you have source.h, it only has a couple lines, and I'm actually going to name it, I'm actually going to add this line of code, I don't know why I said name it, define my add unit id space, and then this part is where you're going to copy and paste your add unit id from admob. I'll use a real one just for um, kicks and kicks. So here's my app, here's the link. Here, see where it says publisher ID? I'm going to copy that, return to Xcode, do at symbol, quote, command V to paste, end quote. And I'm going to save this because this becomes important later. This is so you can change your add unit ID with actually having, without actually having to, um, you, you just have it in a separate file. I don't know. It seems silly, but it's a good way to do it. So, now, if you'll see here, it says incomplete implementation. We're actually going to be finishing up the implementation right now. So, we need to import a couple of things. We need Google Ad Banner View dot H, G Ad Request dot H, Source dot H, and that's it. So. Now, for our next line under implementation, we're going to synthesize our banner view equals banner view underbar. And so now, this is where I'm actually going to paste the code that loads the ad. And so, like I said, I'll include this. This code works for any um, Xcode 4.2 project for sure, which the AdMob SDK requires. And I have it running on apps that run on iPod 2G, iPhone 3G, iOS 5, so anywhere from iOS 4.2 to 5, so I know it works. So this code 
like I said, I'll include it, don't freak out, goes in the view did load section. So actually, to make this a little bit simpler, I'm actually going to delete all this extra code, which you can. I encourage you to do that for your applications because it keeps it a lot cleaner and simpler. And so I just need to add an end. Now, that way we don't get so bogged down. So here's the code. It looks like a lot, but I'm actually going to walk through it. So here it is. It's in the view did load. Now this loads it from the environment at runtime. And so the minute your iPhone loads the app, this code is going to load, which basically says, all right, load this app. So it says self.banner view, and I'm not going to walk through line by line, but just the important ones, equals this whole thing. And see where it says CG rect make? This actually makes an ad, and it is making it off screen. And so it looks a lot nicer if an ad is never called, then that way it never has just, there's not like a blank white space. You can put something else there, so it looks good. So this next part, this is where it becomes important that you do the source.h correctly. Right here where it says self.bannerview.addUnitID equals what, and where it says my add unit ID, you're just going to want to replace that with my add unit ID. And if you'll see there, it becomes defined and the warning goes away. This tells AdMob what your publisher ID is and that it'll work. So the rest of this basically just creates a request, um, loads the ad and puts it onto the screen. But here is one more important part that I do encourage you to pay attention to. This part is the request for a test ad. Now Google is really strict about if you use a test ad on a test device. While you're testing your application and especially testing ad integration, you need to do it with a test because if they get data that you're clicking ads by your, you know, your own ads or that if you're loading the same ad over and over again, which will inevitably happen if you're testing an app like you should, then they're not going to be very happy with you and will probably terminate your publisher contract. And so this block of code is really important where it says request.testDevices, this whole thing, it'll give you a test ad rather than a real ad. And so that's really important. Now, when your code goes into final production, you actually need to get rid of this. And so you put this as just a com as a comment. So see what I did there, how it's now it's just greened out, the compiler ignores it when it compiles, and so that's it. So now that's basically all you need to do. Now I'm gonna leave this here because it is oops, we really do want a test ad because that's all we're doing. And we're gonna go to the view controller. And Google ads aren't like iAds, you don't need to put anything on your screen. So it'll automatically initialize it at the bottom of your screen, but I'm going to put just an image view there so we can know where, I like to do this in my apps too, so we can know where to put it. So here's an image view, and the width is always 320 and the height is 50. Ooh, wow, messed that one up, sorry Xcode. The height is 50, and so that way I can always know where on my screen the ad's going to be. So there it is, I'll probably just put a label here like I always do, just so you can see. Oh, goodness. Good enough. And let's test it out. Alright, so if you'll see here, there were no warnings or issues in Xcode, which is good. It means we loaded all the proper libraries and had the correct code. The label is displayed, which means you know the app is the app you wanted. And there's an ad. And if you click it, it brings up the window just like it's supposed to. And if you look down here, I don't know if you guys know how to use the debugger or not, but it says, add test, received add. Now this goes back to the viewcontroller.m, and this is because there's an NS log statement. And so I'm actually going to do a tutorial probably in the next upcoming week on how to use NS log very effectively in order to get a good feel for how your application is working before you completely finish it. But until then, just know, add received, and it worked. So yeah, that's all you need to do. Um, so it takes a little bit longer than Apple iAds, but it's a lot more flexible in that you can do house ads, you can do, um, you know, just a more, I don't know how to put it, I guess you can have a wider array of configurations. So that's it. Uh, let me know if you have any issues, questions, comments, and such. And yeah, thanks for watching. Talk to you guys later.